What's up, everyone? Hope everyone's okay. I'm back. Managed to get my hands on a Steam Deck. Lord Gaben approved me of the Q1 release schedule. And we are here today with a nice, lovely Steam Deck. I'm extremely happy to have one of these. Um, I'll jump into that in a second, but let me just tell you about my uh, pre-1 or Q1 order, how that worked out. Yeah, so basically I put my order in around 30 seconds after the pre-orders went live. I mean, I was trying to get it on the dot, but uh, I mean, thousands of people were trying to do it exactly the same time as me, obviously. So I managed to get it in and luckily my email came through pretty quickly and then obviously he blessed me with a Q1 release date and since then I've been waiting like everyone else and it managed to pump me into Q1. I wasn't one of the first people to receive it. I was like around, mine came in at around, um, it was like one of the last weeks of March. And then uh, luckily I was away in Canada at the time. So it didn't really make a massive difference to me because I wasn't going to be able to play it anyway. Um, and then there you go. I got my order. Uh, as you can see, I'm playing Dead, Dead Space 1 at the minute. Loving it, loving every second of it. And I just thought I'd show you some, some games of the stuff I've been playing recently on it. So, because we're already on it, we might as well play some Dead Space 1. I mean, it's a it's a gem, a classic. And I don't think I've actually finished this. I mean, when back when this came out, I was obviously quite... I wasn't extremely young, but it was a pretty scary game for me to play at the time. Um, and, yeah, so, I mean... I've got nothing bad to say about this device, really. I mean, it's leaps and bounds ahead of the, the Iron Ear as far as controls goes. Um, it's literally like holding an Xbox One controller on either side. Face buttons, perfect. I mean, and then you've got all of the performance stuff you can improve on. Like, you can stick this out. You can actually see your performance in game. I like to just keep it on FPS unless I'm checking how much battery life I need to get or how many watts I'm using. To be fair, I'll just keep it on, um, I'll just let the Steam Deck do its thing, you know, I, I haven't limited anything. Like on the Iron I normally had to turn the TDP up and down. I just haven't really messed about with it at all, so don't really need to. I mean, I'm on 38% and it's saying I've got an hour and 45 minutes on Dead Space. I mean, I'm happy with that battery life. It's, it's pretty nice. Obviously with the newer games, you'll be getting less battery life because of how hard they are to run. Saw some benchmarks of people playing like control. Um and if from like a hundred to zero they were getting like a an hour and forty, which I mean isn't terrible, but if you limited that to thirty, you'd get like an ever an extra hour on top of that, so there's always means and ways of getting around battery life and making it longer. Just depends how much of a sacrifice you want to make on the gameplay. I try and uh keep my gameplay like as fluid as possible, so I'd try and hit 60. Otherwise, I mean, it's not as enjoyable at 30, but it doesn't really matter to be fair, because games like Civilization 5, which I've been playing, normally just run that one at 30, because it's just one of them games that you're not really doing a lot on. You're just more like micromanaging the map and stuff, so you don't really feel it as much. Whereas if I was to put this down to 30, it would feel a lot more sluggish, um, especially F FPS shooters as well. But people don't, people, some people don't mind, some people prefer longer battery life, so that's fair. I mean, the beauty is you get the choice, right? Love Dead Space, though. I think the second one is where I've properly got into it and played it, but I mean, the first one is obviously a gem, an OG of the survival horror stuff. This is where we first get zero gravity. I actually did finish a game on this yesterday. Um, I finished Portal 2. Amazing game. Loved it. Played like absolute butter on this on this device. Didn't even have to change any settings. It was full full settings. Barely used any battery life. I think I got about like three and a half hours battery life out of it. Um Yeah, it was it was outstanding. Alright. Anyway, we'll hop into a new game and then we'll see what we uh, can find out. Also, I just want to mention about, about the UI. Um, I know it's kind of like in early stages. I mean, they've just released it and they're patching stuff out of it. But I, don't, I actually really like it. It's nice. It's fluid. I mean, you're turning Steam 
which had a big picture, but big picture's been around for fucking ages. They haven't done anything with it. But the turning steam, which is predominantly a PC based like desktop thing into like a, a games console kind of library setting thing. They've done a decent job. I mean, I've got my my screenshots here, playing some Bioshock in from an earlier, amazing first section of the game. It's just, yeah. I mean, it, it has like a bit of ironing out to do. I mean, I've noticed some weird bugs and stuff with like the games loading and they're trying to get out of games and stuff like that. But I mean, I'm sure it'll be fixed. So I've been playing a lot of Elden Ring, 48 hours. I mean, that's pretty rocky to be fair, but still. Just wanted to show how well it runs on the deck. I mean, it's deck verified, which means like it has to run decently. I know some people have been having issues with uh, like deck verified stuff, but I mean, this one runs pretty damn nice. Normally cap it to 30 though, because 60 is a bit of a strong ask for it, but. Pretty amazing that a triple A title can even run on this kind of thing. I mean, look at it. It's pretty damn thin. I mean, it is a unit. Don't get me wrong, it's huge, but it feels very nice in the hand. I mean, compared to like holding a switch, it, there's no comparison. So if I just get into the uh, the meat and bones of the settings, I can show you guys what I'm uh, what I'm currently running. So I did a customized setting here. Surprisingly a lot of highs. I mean this game literally came out what like a month ago now just over a month ago I mean, I don't know if I really need to run this at high, but it gets me 30 FPS pretty solidly, so I Mean I don't I mean you I guess you could drop it to low try and run it at 60 But I do want it to look decent. I don't want it to look shitty, but if that's up to you So this is when I come over to here you see frame rate limit just chuck that to 30 and then we get a locked 30 so I mean, I'll try not to spoil too much of this game because I know there's a lot of like different areas and stuff in it. But as you can see, you can see the frame rate in the top left. I mean, it's pretty damn locked. Pretty insane, right? I mean, I'm playing Elden Ring. Game came out a month ago on a handheld device. We just check fast travel times. So let's hop over to the uh, first region of the map. I mean, I'm pretty like deep into the game at the minute, but if we just hop into like the first steps area, there we go. And we can get some loading time. So this is installed onto my SSD. So I've got the 512 model. I should have mentioned that earlier. This has the anti-glare screen as well. Um, and I also have the a 512 gigabyte SS uh, micro SD card installed as well. So this is the first area of the game. No spoilers. And yeah, I mean, it's, it's running. It's running at 30, easily playable, very responsive, a solid 30. Um, I've actually forgotten how to call my steed, there we go. As you can see, we are playing on high. With a steed, you are traveling at a decent speed and obviously you're loading in different areas quickly, but it's holding around 26 to 28 on the steed. I'll hop off the steed in a minute to fight, but see if we hop off, it should just jump back to 30. Yeah, it does. Awesome. I mean, this is gonna, I'm gonna instantly rip this guy apart, but if you have an idea of like the combat. We get some nice foliage areas here, might test the uh, device a little bit. Yeah, we'll jump down to 28, 29, 27. I mean, if I was a little bit smarter, I'd probably jump down to medium. But like I say, I haven't been having too many issues just playing this at 30. Ideally, this kind of game I'd want to play at 60, but like I say, the Steam Deck. I don't think the Steam Deck can reach 60 on this, which isn't a bad thing either. I mean, you can even do something called FSR. So we can jump up this FSR 
and it hasn't worked amazingly well in a lot of the games I've tried, but it still does a decent job. Basically, it, it's um, AMD's version of... Uh, I forgot what the NVIDIA calls it, but it takes the resolution down and basically upscales it with like sharpening, and you can't really tell unless you look really closely. But it's supposed to just give you a few more extra frames and better battery life because you're technically running at a lower resolution, so... Can't really tell. Make, it doesn't really seem to be making any difference in this game, though. It, it's like hit and miss, really, in different games. I guess the uh, the developers have to enable it or something in the in their background, but... Yeah. <laughs> this is Elden Ring. Let me just remind you, Elden Ring came out about a month ago. It's a AAA title. You might have heard of it. It's running on a handheld device. A little bit of slow down there. I guess it's just loading in this ruins area. Um, man, I ain't been this area in ages. Uh, a lot of dogs. And... Yeah, this is Elden Ring. I'm getting killed by a dog. But we'll, we'll uh, jump into another game and see what we can uh, find. Bruh. The annoying thing is you can't pause this game either, so... Give me a second. Alright. So, a bit of Fallout New Vegas for you guys now. Um, Fallout New Vegas has... As everyone knows who's played it on PC, has an init initial launcher. And these are handled on the Steam Deck by basically just, like, touchscreen. So if I go into options... I can show you the options I'm running at the minute. It's pretty much a mixture of high and some mediums um so yeah if i just click play it'll just be in like a regular game so it does the same for all bethesda games so you know skyrim has the same kind of launcher and so does fallout 3 um, and unlike windows fallout 3 actually does work perfectly out of the box i know on windows 10 you have to do a lot of work around to get Fallout 3 working, which is a bit of a pain, but because it's, this is a Linux device, it just instantly boots, no issues. Uh, this will give you an idea of the loading. Fast. Very fast. And as you can see, I'm getting a solid 60. Um, I do like to play this game in 60 FPS, just because I just prefer it to be a lot smoother. I also have gyro enabled on this, because... Why not? I think it's such a cool feature. So you basically hold your finger on the thumb and you basically can move your cursor around. Um, it doesn't really get in the way if you're using the analog stick normally. You kind of just have to rest your thumb right in the middle. So if you're like constantly moving your thumb around, it doesn't really... It isn't annoying because I guess it could be kind of annoying if you're trying to just move regularly in your gyro and at the same time. Um... So, uh, yeah, I mean, Fault New Vegas, and I had a bit of trouble running this on the Neo. It wasn't going full speed all the time. But the Steam Deck has no issues at all. I might just jump into this building, show you some of the loading times, if we can go in this building. I'm sure we, pretty sure we can, yeah. It's pretty instantaneous. Um, yeah, it's buttery smooth. Easily playable. And it's definitely a game that I'm planning on playing once again. Yo, Victor, how's it going, man? Howdy, partner. Don't mention See, I always try and be like... Because I've played Fallout so many times, I've been good every single time, pretty much. Because every time I try and say to myself, I'm like, alright, I'm going to be evil this run. I definitely want to be evil. And then I come to like having to say something really horrible to someone, and I just can't bring myself to do it, so... <laughs> It kind of messes my run up there. I pretty much mess my run up as soon as I get into Good Springs because you kind of, I kind of want to sign up with the powder, powder gangers, you know, when you're fighting and stuff at the start. But I can never bring myself to slaughter everybody in this town. Cause, you know, you've got like Easy Pete, you got Sunny Smiles. I mean, she helps you out at the start. It's just like I can't bring myself to do it. But maybe one day I'll be evil in this game. But yeah, Fall at New Vegas. I mean, this is very early on, but. You get the idea, it's pretty damn, pretty damn good. Did we just check the battery life, by the way? 
So it's saying we'll just get around an hour. I'm on 30%, so if you work that out towards, you get around about three, over three hours, a good three hours and over, which is really nice. Um, yeah, sweet. Thought I'd show you Fallout 4 because I was shocked at how well this ran on the device. Uh, we've got it set to pretty much medium, medium, medium. God rays will absolutely ruin your device. So for the sake of this one, I'll turn them off. Uh, okay, and um, we'll play. Never could run Fallout 4 on uh, the Iron Ear for some reason. It just wasn't really worth tweaking enough to get it running. But on the Steam Deck, why not? Just click continue. Now this is going to use a lot more resources than New Vegas. Um, it's a newer game, so you're not going to get as good battery life. But look at this. Oof. Fallout 4 running at 60 FPS. Very smooth. I'm just at the part in Diamond City where you start talking to Nick Valentine for the first time. Um, I've got gyros on as well here, so you can see aiming down the sights, you've got the gyros. You can also mess about with that in the settings to make it more sensitive and stuff. Um, so let me just hop outside and show you some Diamond City, because this is, area is quite a taxing one on your device. So if, it's, if your, any area is going to run shit, it's going to be either on the outskirts of Diamond City or in Diamond City itself. So I'll just walk through this town, show you what it's like. I mean, this game does look really nice. Still, not my favourite Fallout. Do much prefer New Vegas and Free, but it's not a shit game by any means. See, these lights and the smoke are really good at taxing the taxing the device. See, we're on 48, 46 here. Oh, we've got an event going on. Cool. I think this is a synth. But, I mean, if you turn around, you jump straight to 60s. It's, it's literally just these lights and this smoke as well. You see the smoke in the background here, so I'm not really that fussed about it. It still runs still runs really nice. And he's just had his brother's head blasted off. And I'll just rob his body. <laughs> Standard fallout procedure. Um, let's just hop into another area of the map. And you might be able to... Maybe if we go to, like... If we go up here to, like, Red Truck Stop or something. You get to see some loading times. Got this one stored on the uh, internal hard drive as well, so. Not quite as quick as New Vegas, but not slow. And it looks amazing. Look at that. I actually can't believe this is running on a, on a Switch. On a Steam Deck, even. Switch would fucking never be able to run this in its wildest dreams. Got dog meat. How's it going, man? But yeah, medium. I probably could push this up a little bit to high. Maybe put the God Rays back on because this is. Uh, I mean, it looks amazing as it is. But if you just wanted to test the system out, see a lot of people complaining in the Reddit, Discord, and and, and Discord about the fan. I mean, some people have been getting a really high pitched fan, and some people have been getting a different version of the fan which isn't as high pitched. I've definitely got the high pitched one. I don't know if you can hear it. Just has this kind of high pitched whirl to it, but it hasn't been annoying me. Um, it's, I'm not really sensitive to noise that much. Um, I say the only thing that has been bothering me a little bit is the backlight bleed. I mean, I if I look at it in daylight conditions, it isn't bad, um, but because it's an IPS panel, you're going to get some kind of backlight glow kind of thing on it, and. I'm spoiled massively by OLED, so every time I see a bit of backlight bleed slash uh, IPS glow, I, I freak out a bit, but I think I've gotten over it now. It's just in this top right corner here, but it's really not a massive issue. But yeah, Fallout 4. Just do some shooting because just to show that it's 60 FPS, pretty stable. Like I say, the only areas that are really going to mess you over is... Diamond City areas because of how the lights and the steam are and stuff. Awesome. If you want to see any games from me, um, feel free to put them in the comments. I know there's a lot of people doing videos on the Steam Deck just because of how much of a really popular device it is. 
but I'm going to make some more videos on it, why not? I'm going to try and play some obscure Steam games on it just to see that it's working. And, and these trackpads are really awesome. I was playing Civ with it earlier, Civilization, and this acts as your mouse, and this one can be the scroll wheel. Um, so it just makes it such a nice experience to just play it and use it, but yeah. This is the Steam Deck, and I will catch you guys in the next video.